page. All right, I see a couple people joining in, a couple more people still coming in. Uh, well, let's, let's get going. Um, are you all set with the to record? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. All right, hello everybody. Uh, today in our 10 minute training, we're going to go through something fun. This is one of those tools from Microsoft that you probably didn't know existed, but once you know it exists, um, you're gonna find a whole bunch of uses for it. Uh, I know we do in our office as well. So this is Microsoft Forms. So let me show you what Microsoft Forms is so basically the way you're going to get to it is you're going to start by going to a browser and you're going to type in forms.office.com that's going to bring you to the forms page this is where everything's going to happen from is right here uh, i'm going to start by just creating a, a blank form and i'm just going to go right from the top to the bottom on this and show you the different features so First couple are gonna be kind of obvious initially. So a title. So basically you can start with just a, a title of what the form is. What does it see? What's the banner? Um, all right. So you start with, this, uh, with the title. Now one of the things that you can do is that you can also add in an image as the background of that. So you can either do it from like a, a Bing search, um, and just pick the image there, assuming that it's compatible. You can also upload your own image. So like what we will do is we will sometimes upload a um, like a company file. So like when we're doing our miniature golf or something like that, we'll upload a picture from previous outings and put them up there as well. So the uh, we'll go back to our sunset because it's beautiful. And then down here, you're just gonna put a little description And let's see. All right, so we're going to have a description of, of what it is. Now, uh, now that we have these, we have the two top things in here. Let's go into what Forms actually does. So basically, Forms allows you to ask different survey questions. So they have a whole bunch of survey questions to choose from. I'm not going to go through every single one of these, but I'll go through the basic ones here. So number one is a choice. So basically, you can have different options. So you can have a question with different options. One, two, three, four. You know, what's your favorite color? Blue, green, red, yellow, um, and have them come out that way. Kind of cool on the choice ones, you can have people choose multiple options, which is very cool. So they can have multiple selections. You can also make it so it is required. So each one is required. So typically the first thing that I'll have is actually the text one. And I'll put down, your name. Okay, so we put down the name and they can put it down and I put down that it's uh, required. You can also have a long answer. If you have a long answer, it just means that you have a lot more text. Now, I want my name, I want the name to actually show up as the first question. So I'm just gonna hit the up arrow and it's gonna move it up. So you can move the questions up and down as you, as you need to. All right, so we have a text one, we have a multiple choice. We can add in some more. So we can put in um, ratings. Ratings are really cool because they're just normal. You can set the number of stars that you want. What I like about the ratings is that when you get your results back, and we're going to talk about results in a moment, they'll actually come back as numeric values. They'll come back as numeric averages of the rating. So if you send this out to 100 people, it's going to take, okay, it's, a, it's an average of 3.75, which is cool. All right. You can, um, obviously, you can also copy a question. So again, if you have the same thing over and over, instead of retyping it, you can just easily copy them one question to the other, which is really nice. We're going to go into another type of question here. You can have a date. Uh, what? Not not a but not a date like going out on a date. Um, you can have a ranking. How would you like to rank these from one to ten? You can have Likeheart. So like cart chart, basically you have multiple options, multiple questions and multiple options per question. So give me the, what is the you know top 10 rating over here, over there. So different things that you can do with that. And then um, promoter score and then section. So we're gonna get into a section in a second. Now, 
once you have your survey, now what you can do is actually preview it. You can see, so you can see what it's going to look like in the web browser. You can change the order, spelling, required, not required, all of those things. Once you have that, oh, you can also see what it's going to look like on a phone, which is kind of cool. So let's say that we have our survey and it's done, and it's exactly the way that we want it to do to look. How do we share the survey? So basically, we're going to go into sharing it. So when we share it, we have a couple different options. One, you can say, who do you want to be able to participate? Do you want open to the public? So this is if you want a general survey at a restaurant or something like that. Only people in my organization or only specific people that I invite. So you have different options that you can go through. Now, when you're actually sharing it, you can see that you can have a link that you can put in an email. You can shorten the link as well. You can have a QR code. The QR code is going to be really cool because you can actually, you can obviously put this on a printout. Uh, if you want to put a banner up somewhere or a poster up somewhere and you wanted people just to fill out the survey, they could scan the QR code is going to bring them right there. You can embed it into a web page and then you can just simply send it as an email template. The other thing I want to point out as well is that you can make some of these, if you have one that you're going to use over and over again, you can make it a template and you can also collaborate. So uh, there's many times where Jen and I are working on a survey and I, we, we're both working out at the same time. So we can actually collaborate within the office and actually share it and actually both work on the same thing at the same time. So that's how you share it. Let's go into a couple more of the, of the options. I want to go into the theme option. The theme option is kind of cool. You can actually make it, uh, you can change the color to match your company colors. You can pick different fun backgrounds. But then also you can, up, again, upload your own image. So what we'll do a lot of times, we'll actually upload our, our, our logo image on here. So it actually looks like it's braverized, if you will. So it actually looks kind of cool. And you can pick your own template. So again, if you look the preview, this is what it looks like. So it kind of matches and looks really nice. All right, so now we've got, we've, we've sent out our request. Now, how do we get our responses? So we get responses right on this response page. And I'm gonna show you in a moment. Actually, let's go, let's go back to an actual survey that we've actually done. So this is our miniature golf event that we did in our office. All right, so as you can see, what we asked for is the name. We asked for different dates that you can make. Then we, then we did shirt sizes. So we said, okay, what is your shirt size? So we're gonna get t-shirts for this event. What size are you? So they can pick out their size. And as you can see, we'll put an image with a little chart helping them select what size. And then we put in a couple of fun polls in here as well. So once we have that, and as you can see uh, on the background, as I mentioned, we have the nice Braver icon in the background. So it looks like a nice Braver event. Here's, here's what it looks like on the screen, right? But let's go and look what the responses look like. So this is the cool part of, uh, of forms, that it gives you a nice graphs of what the responses are. So you can quickly see which dates are, the are going to be the best for our, for our event um, and which date that we had it on. But then also, which is really cool, and this is what you can't do with a lot of the free versions of the software, is an Excel document. So you open up the Excel document, and it's actually going to have the results in Excel, which is great, especially when you're doing those ratings with the numeric values, you can actually do formulas based on those results. So you can actually have actual algorithms that you're doing in the Excel. I'm not going to show the results of this one because it has shirt sizes. I don't want anybody's shirt sizes going through. But basically, you can see what's going on and actually um, all of the crafts. So this is an actual form we have. I'm going to actually show you now a little more of an advanced form on this. So there's something that you can do in forms called branching. Now, uh, those of you who are of our clients know that we sent out a emergency, we sent out emergency contact update forms, right? So what's cool about this one that we do differently, and those of you that have seen it, is let's do a preview here. So when you see the preview, you can see right now there's only one question, right? So we're going to put in the answer to this one question. We're going to go next. We go next, all of a sudden you can see all these other questions popped up, right? Who's the emergency contact name? We're going to put in all the stuff. Now, again, you can see this is the first emergency contact name. What we want to do is we want to see, okay, if you have more than one emergency contact name, we want you to keep going. But if you don't, we want you to finish. So watch what happens. When I say, do you have another contact name? We say no. It changes it, says submit. We're done. If we say yes, 
it goes to next and it says, okay, well, give me the contact information for the next person. So how did we do that? So we did that through something called branching. So what branching does is basically see these sections here. So you can create a section by going up here and you say create section, add section. Once you do that, you take the different questions and you're putting them in their own screen like you saw. Now, how do you get from one question to the next? This is branching. So once we add, once we saw the branching, you can see what happens. So we go through the questions and look what happens on this yes, no question here. It says, I have a second contact. If it's yes, it does nothing. But if it's, if it's no, it goes to the end of the form. So if it's yes, it goes to the next one, right? But if it's no, then we end the form. So that's where branching comes in, and you can actually see how dynamic and how versatile these forms get. Um, that's been really, really cool for uh, for us and for using those. And as you can see, we use them to communicate with our clients on a regular basis. Forms is not uh, forms is something that uh, is not included with all Microsoft subscriptions. So there are some Microsoft subscriptions that do not have forms included in them. So if you don't have it, it's, it's usually a pretty cheap add-on and you can do it per user. It doesn't have to be company-wide or anything like that. So if you have just a, a marketing person alone that wants to have it, very easy to do. Um, that, I think, is everything. Jen, is there anything that I didn't cover that we wanted to cover? No, no I think, I think we, we everything. Okay, all right. So let's go over to the questions on the Q&A and see if we have some. Um, first one we have, uh, can you duplicate a form? Yes. So when you're back on the page here on the form, so we do this, so let's say we're going to do a miniature golf um, tournament, which we probably will because it was a good success. And we want to send out the same, a similar questionnaire, just change the dates. So you go over these three dots and just choose copy. You can also pin a form. So basically forms that you use on a regular basis can go in this pinned area. This is the shared, so you can see, uh, like I said, we have we share forms internally, and that's on the collaborate part of it as well. And then you just remove it. So basically, if we take this one here, which has nothing, it was just a test form we're doing, we were doing, we take that, and I'm just going to delete that from the list as well. Uh, notifications on submissions, are there any way? Yes, so uh, what you will get if you want to, you will get email notifications when people add uh, updates to the form. So when somebody submits the form, it'll say, hey, you have a new submission. It'll show up right in your email box. So it's a great way to know what's happening on the forms themselves and how to keep in communication. All right, um, that's all, Jen. Do you see any other questions up there? I'm going to take the dead silence as a no. Sorry. <laughs> all right. No questions. no questions. Okay. Terrific. Um, all right, everybody. Thank you very much for attending. Um, if you do have any questions, we'll stay on for a few more moments, but uh, we did pretty good with our 10 minute webinar. I think we've made it to 13 minutes on this one. So not too bad. Um, if this is helpful, please uh, put something in the Q&A, let us know, because we want to know if we're on the right track of doing these. And also, if there are topics that you want to see that we um, haven't co uh, covered yet, let us know as well. Otherwise, thank you very much.